Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Zartus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can set up a damage effect for our player. What I mean by that is, you see this little red vignette effect that we've got here, I'm pretty much going to be showing you guys how you can get it displayed on the screen when the player takes some health. Now over the last few videos we have been creating a system for um, our player's health and the player's armour and we've also set up a function for taking away some of the player's health so taking damage that we're going to be using later on in the series when we have enemies that shoot the player or they walk through fire and all of that good stuff all i'm going to be doing today is adding to that function and getting this effect shown on the screen to make it realistic and to give the player a little bit of feedback for when they take some damage now if you guys want to go ahead and download this image once again you can download it in the link in the description from my website it's also going to be in here with the fps hud as well don't worry about the hud for now but let's just focus on importing this red vignette simply all you got to do is click it and then just drag it into our content browser to import it and that is all we need to do for that so now we can start using it in the game so there's two things that we need to do today so we need to um, do the blueprint side of things so that's going to be creating the widget and displaying it on the screen as part of the function and the second bit is going to be setting up this vignette effect inside of a widget so that we can display it on the screen and we also need to animate it as well so that it fades in and out as well so Let's start off by creating the blueprint widget or the widget blueprint that's actually going to contain the image. Right click in your content browser and create a widget blueprint. Once you've done that, just simply name it damage vignette uh, or just damage effects. There we go. Sorry, one second. Damage effect. And then simply just go ahead and open this up. Once you've done that, all you've got to do, drag an image into here and then set the size for the X to 1920 and the Y for 1080. So basically all this is doing is just pretty much making it fill the whole screen. Um, the default resolution for, you know, Unreal Engine 4 UMG is 1920 by 1080. Also make sure your position for X and Y is set to zero so it's perfectly centered. And then for the anchor point, set this to the full screen as well. So it fits the full screen regardless of the player's resolution. So if it's on a mobile, a computer, a laptop or whatever, it's just going to work. The next thing that we need to do is actually add in the image. And the image is pretty simple. It's simply red vignette. So go ahead and type that in and then just click red vignette and you'll get this on the screen here and that is what it's going to look overlaying the player's screen which is quite nice. So one other thing that we're going to do is we're going to go down to our color and opacity and we're going to set the alpha, the A, down to zero. Now the reason why I'm setting this down to zero is so that we can um, have it not clip at the start of our animation. So what I mean by that is we're going to be fading it in so by default we don't want it to be you know, we don't want to show it on the screen at all. So completely zero opacity. We're going to be making this go up over half a second, then back down again for a quick little flash, which should be quite nice. So once we've done this, we need to go ahead and give this a name as well. So we can find it easier when we're doing our animation. So go to the details panel, top right, all the way at the top. At the moment for me, it's image underscore 27. It might be a different number for you, but go ahead and set the name of this to red vignette. Just press enter and that's it. Once you've done that, let's create an animation to quickly make this fade in and out. So I'm simply going to type in fade as the name, click it, and then in the components, in the timeline, go ahead and add your red vignette in there. Don't use canvas panel underscore slot zero, whatever it is, just use the normal red vignette. On here, what we want to be working with is the color and opacity. So we're trying to make it fade in and out. So what I'm going to do is simply create a color and opacity track. And then from here, I'm going to expand this so I can see exactly what I'm working with. And the one that I want to be changing over time is opacity. So that's pretty much controlling how transparent this object is going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly have this flash on. So I'm going to set the opacity to 1 at half a second just moving this along and then at one second we're going to set this back down to zero so all this is doing is pretty much making it fade, fade in and then fade out over a second so at zero it's completely transparent at half a second it's fully transparent and then at one second it's back to normal so it's going to be gone from the player's screen and that's sort of the effect that we're looking for 
Once we've done that, we are pretty much finished with our animation and we've just got to tell it to play at the start of creating this widget. So go to graph and then inside of the blueprints from event construct, event construct being the event that happens as soon as you start to create this widget. So it's similar to begin play for our third person character. So what we're going to be doing is simply getting a reference to fade and then for event construct, drag it out and simply type in play animation and then just press OK. And then with this fade reference, hook it up to in animation and then the target is itself. You could make it fade a couple or uh, play back a couple of times or you could make it run faster. I'm going to leave this completely normal. The only thing I will do is change the number of loops to two and that's just going to run twice for us. Once I've done that, I'm going to compile it and that's all good. All we need to do now is add a little bit of blueprint to get this shown on the player screen. It's really simple to do. So I'm also going to delete damage vignette here. You won't have this. This was just something I created in a previous recording. Just ignore that. So moving on to my third person character, let's go ahead and get that effect shown on the screen. So if you remember, in the last video, we created these functions on the left hand side. So we've got take damage 5%, take damage 10%, 15 and 20. All we're going to be doing, like I said earlier, is pretty much telling those to create a widget at the end of the sequence that's going to show and play that animation. It's really simple. Let's start off with 5%. So dope, open that up, take damage 5%. And at the very end of this, all we're going to do is simply tell it to create a widget. And then for the widget class, we're simply going to set this to damage effect. And then once again, return value is simply going to be add to viewport. Like I said before with these create widgets, it's no good just having it in the memory. We also need to tell it to show it on the player's screen. And then for owner owning player, drag that out and simply type in get player controller. Now, at the moment, our pain volume is using 5%. So let's just test this one for now. And if it does work and it gets the effect on the screen, we're going to transfer this over to 10%, 15 and 20. You'll see what I'm talking about. So if I jump out of here and what I'm going to do now is we've got this pain volume here. I'm simply going to get my player to run into it. And hopefully that should trigger the effect. So if I press play, run up to it, into the little zone here. At the moment, it's not on the screen. Now, the reason why it's not on the screen is actually quite simple. If we open it up and go back in here, you can see our sequence is only doing this last bit if, you know, they haven't, if it's only gone down to the health. All we got to do is just hook this little bit up to the false as well. So I'm going to move this down a bit and then I'm just going to hook up the false on the branch over here and compile that. And now if we press play and run up to it, you can see that we get the effect on our screen and it looks quite nice. And the longer that you stay in there, the more serious it gets. So it's just going to keep creating this widget and they're just going to pile on top of each other each time. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I stand in this for a couple of seconds, you can see we've got quite a few of these going on and it gets more and more red, which is exactly what I'm after. But if we just walk in it once, and then step out, it, it flickers twice and that is it. And that is exactly how I want it to be. So now if you get shot by a bullet later on, you're going to see the red thing just at once. Now, if you don't want it to flash twice, just go ahead and change that. It's all part of the damage effect um, in the graph. So let's just set this down to one. I think two does look a little bit odd for the number of times. Press play, run in here and you just get the one flash and that is exactly what we want. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for our damage effect. It's gonna look really cool when we got players shooting us later on in the series. Thanks for watching guys, stay awesome, keep creating your boy Virtus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you wanna help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.